to a brand new Let's Play here on Colorful Artie's channel. We, you've seen a lot, folks. We've joined a parade. We've gone to the moon. We've saved the zoo. We've traveled through time. We've entered a race. We've traveled all around the world and in outer space to pop every balloon in existence. And we've even traveled through time just to pick up a bunch of bones with a pogo stick we got from the recycling bin. But this time, it's the finale. We're joining the circus. It's Putt-Putt joins the circus, the last of the, I'll say, official Junior Adventure Papa Games, and I'm joined by Marty. Hey guys, <laughs> there's only one path, yeah. so I get to be here. This is a little bit of a step down in quality from the other yeah. Papa Games. There's only it's the exact same game every time you play. I already have several questions though from the last <laughs> time I've played this game. First of all, who trusted the dog with the ticket? Like Papa doesn't have opposable thumbs, so he dog, can't do anything. He has teeth. He can hold it in his mouth, for crying out loud. <laughs> but he talks too much for that. Also, second thing, I just noticed the white thing on the side of the car. Is that supposed to be a car door? What white thing on the side? Like, of right this? there. Yeah. yeah, that's the handle. Oh, that's the handle? Yeah. Oh. You didn't notice that till now? I, for, uh, yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, I guess cars can open themselves in this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like the movie Cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the movie Cars. Exactly, yeah. Arnie. Anyhow, yeah, Puppa joins the circus. Ooh. I'd say this is my least favorite oh. of the Puppa games, but it's still not bad, and it's definitely better than a Pep's birthday surprise. <laughs> Coming to <laughs> Apple Valley. That is where Putt Putt lives, guys. If it, you live in Apple Valley, look around the horizon. Putt Putt lives there. Also, guys, um, there's no need to see Greatest Showman. This is better. <laughs> it is it says probably BJ better. Sweeney's Big Top Circus. But Coming to Ephraim. Apple Valley. Just me or is Putt Putt really loud in comparison to the background music? Putt Putt's voice actor <laughs> it's also okay. changed. I so. don't. Yeah, this is where Putt Putt's voice actor changed. God oil. <laughs> Carrots of the world unite. <laughs> Pajama say reference, I love it. Moe's Auto Clinic. What does this have to do with anything? It's a guy with like a thermometer in it's, his mouth. It's a, like it's hey. a doctor for cars, Artie. Oh, I, I guess I guess an auto mechanic would be a doctor for cars, apparently. That is exactly uh, what it is. Yum yum gog. Oh, cog. I thought this was a gog. Yum yum gog. <laughs> gog. Yum yum. <laughs> Fido dog food. It's not goth pal. <laughs> uh, Bandini is a grocery store. He's like, I'm uh, the only grocery uh, store, guys. I have a Monopoly. Also, I have fuzzy dice, so you want to come to me anyway, huh? <laughs> space space for these. Alrighty. I've never Apple noticed Valley's space a space long release. drive from here. Make sure you hold on to the ticket, Pep. It'll be a long drive from here. That's what <laughs> Come it sounded on. like. Cut the kids some slack. Newsflash it's from Kurtown. Yesterday, Mr. Firebird accidentally fell into his time machine and was jettisoned a hundred years into the future. He returned today <laughs> to report that life in the future is well worth sticking around for. Uh-huh. Really? Cool! Oh, really, um, Mr. Firebird? Uh, you criminal mastermind, you? <laughs> also, I... I'm just here to tell you, Putt Putt, that you're not gonna be around to see the future in <laughs> 100 years! <laughs> Other thing I've noticed is, apparently, you cannot go above 35 miles an hour in Putt Putt. No, it's impossible. I wonder, if cars get older, is that how they get more speed? Yeah, like didn't you see speed, Cars Free? Oh wait, you only saw half of Cars no, Free. I've only seen like half of Cars Free. You saw enough for you to I saw know. enough to just see like, oh, Martin Lightning Queen, you're so old. Oh yeah, also, I'm such an old fart, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> I love how we spent like five minutes just on the first but, screen. Papa, you might need some more gas there, dude. If we're going to make it to the circus before it starts, we better get going, Pep. <laughs> Not pictured, there's a giant traffic jam behind Papa like, dude, this is a one way. Move it, move it, it's one way tunnel. tunnel. It's okay, color week at Car Town. Color. Wendy Whitewall will be on hand to help you pick the color that suits you best. Wendy Car White Town Color. Yeah. Now a subsidiary of Earl Shine Paints. 
I know it's gonna be hard to top our Pup Butt Enters the Race Let's Play in terms of comedic yeah. value, but we're gonna try. You can't really try, you just have to accept defeat or accept the greatness. Oh, I saw okay, Panjito. Those are the long drives or the circuit. pyramids. You better get going. Um, Apple Valley, intense. here we come. Those are mountains. Those are mountains, they're pretty small Pup mountains. Pup Butt takes place in Egypt. <laughs> Pup Butt, yeah. I would, hey, I would play goat. that. He sure is cute. Oh wait, Apple oh, yeah. Valley. Apple Valley is almost 200 miles, no, 150 miles away. Yep. 51 or 57, what does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Goat's goat don't care. That goat is Oh no. There. What mess has Thomas the Tank Engine entered today? <laughs> well, That's... Percy wouldn't help me out, so... <laughs> Here I am. Friggin' Percy, oh my god. It says, Apple Valley, 157 miles. Oh, was, oh, I thought that was a one. Was it Percy who was the one who got, like, sealed in the tunnel forever and ever and ever? <laughs> because he wouldn't you know, come out because he didn't want to ruin his paint? Oh, or, or no, was that, that was a different train, I think. They all had big, really British names, like, Golden. <laughs> it was a British show. Henry. It's a British show, that's why. Percival. It's a Topham hat. <laughs> Percival? Who's named what? Percival? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry, just go. I need yeah, to see I'm a, a to you, video goat. gift. How's about you moseying like, off my tracks? <laughs> like, where it's like, change mm. my mind. Honk! Hey, I don't like we've the met. The name's <laughs> Cassidy. Roll along, Cassidy. Glad to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, howdy, Putt-Putt. Say, would you be able to find something to move this goat off the track? He looks hungry to me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> that, goat belong, that goat belongs at the um, hmm, cider mill here. That goat house. is blocking yes, the road to Apple Valley. There's, Looks there's like there's that goat's not going anywhere. Pep, we need to find something we can use to make him move. The <laughs> I don't know, I think Cassidy's doing a pretty good job. Oh, okay, Pep, just leave the ticket in the car and then chase him up. <laughs> Mice, do you mind? <laughs> not at all, we love the sound. He's doing it on the air. I th you would know what the definition of insanity is, Cassie. Ugh, that's a little creepy of a smile, Pup Who put the road to nowhere? <laughs> Pup is There's got to be something we can find that will make that goat move out of the road. <laughs> Pup is the king of the plastic looking smiles. He's like Barbie for cars. Um, sure. Today no, Barbie has the plastic smile. Tune into Fortunate Wheels. You'll see Cartown's Mrs. Airbag spin the wheel for a chance at winning a set of custom gold-plated hubcats. She running like the bingo parlor or something? Yeah, I don't know who made the road to nowhere. The construction workers were like, guys, I got this brilliant idea. Let's make a road to the Wait, isn't this like exactly the screen from the prehistoric age in Puppet Trials for Time where the like t Triceratops is like... I don't know. It's like the same dead end street. <laughs> Maybe if so, that's a, if so, that's a cool Beautiful callback. Might come in it's a handy. cool callback, and it Maybe could be, or them. like, also there are gopher really holes lazy. everywhere in here with <laughs> slugs. I'm so sorry. They're, they are. Hey, hey. Give the bush to the train. Hey, you need some fuel? I don't think that will work. Give the bush to I the train. I don't dog. think that'll work. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta step on it. We gotta put the pedal to the metal. Here, goaty, goaty. Here, goat. That did the trick. Well, yeah, thanks, partner. <laughs> You're welcome, Thomas. Actually, no, he looks more like a Gordon. Thanks, I've Gordon. I've been trying to get that gall darn goat to move all morning. I'm gonna be late for the circus if I don't get yeah, my old caboose moving. You're going to the circus, too? Wow, so are we. Everyone well, uh, is. Technically speaking, I'm uh, delivering stuff to the circus. Sawdust. Tons and tons of sawdust. Thanks, Pat. Oh, no. There goes my ticket to the circus. I don't have any money for a new one. Now Pop, what am you recycled I going like 500 to do? bottles <laughs> when you enter on my freight car. I'm it's taking true, you straight so to the Big Top Circus in Apple Valley, Putt Putt. I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you into that circus ticket or no ticket. Cool. Gee, thanks, Cassidy. Did you hear that, Pep? Pep smiled. I'm getting a train wow. ride to the circus. He's like, oh, you. boy! Oh, boy, Pluto! Oh, boy. It was a Mickey Mouse smile. Hot diggity. Seen. This is great. <laughs> we travel by map. Oh, we went for the desert for when we traveled for time. See? Continuity. Oh, my gosh. Apple Valley. You were, like, in the yeah. middle of the mountains. Wow. Apple Valley's in the I middle of the I can't believe I'm at the circus. Yep. 
BJ Sweeney's genuine big top circus. And BJ's just, just, just the one to you need to talk to about your little <laughs> time. time. Yep. Okay, Sweeney the ringmaster? Wow. Where do I find yep. him? Right next to the gate, my friend. I'm sure he'd be happy to have you help for? you out. They need I it sure for the hope so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Cassidy. <laughs> well, because you know how, like, you we know just how go and it's acrobat and. No! <laughs> you know how, like, um, what is it? Olympians, when they do, like, the gymnast stuff, they'll, like, clap their hands together with sawdust and stuff. I don't know, the Olympics are kind of lazy, right? No! <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Apple Staples reference from last time we played. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh. Lazy the Olympics. Uh, they I could try a little it. harder, yeah. Cassidy, you're just, you're, you're stuck. <laughs> He's like, well, that's the only time I'll ever get to ride in my whole life. <laughs> it was worth it. Mmm, this is good oil. Not that I don't love being a circus train, but sometimes I think I'd like to walk up on those itty bitty tight ropes like the tight rope walkers. See the world from up high. That would be fun. Okay, I wonder what, a, I wonder coming what down a the track. baby train looks like. <laughs> I don't know. Tom, only, Thomas is kind of a baby train. Can they only go on train tracks? Like, is it like, okay, a baby train's being born in this town. <laughs> we just gave the turtle like a cool swimming pool to hang out in. Oh, sick. I can't believe I'm going to get to talk to BJ Sweeney. <laughs> He's the most famous <laughs> ringmaster in the world. <laughs> Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> Woo! Clowns, trapeze artists, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Yeah. Yes, nice the most astounding circus show. Yeah, I don't really care about the radio. See you later, Cassidy. Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. You must be BJ Sweeney, the most famous ringmaster in the world. You don't look too happy. <laughs> you don't look very happy. I'm crying. <laughs> I need Look at that pop on image. <laughs> I need an image of this for every like junior in college or high school. So it's just like a <laughs> It's like it's like when you when you're a freshman in college pop up like really happens when you're a senior in college. <laughs> <laughs> we have I our forgot new about this entire opening. Of course I'm not happy. I have a really big show to put on tonight. Oh, that's a bad spectacular spectacle <laughs> meant to curl your tailpipe and put a spin in your tires. <laughs> I'm afraid the show can't go on. Papa's like, are you kidding me? First I bought a ticket, then the goat ate my ticket, then I got like a once in a lifetime opportunity to get here, and then you're canceling the show? What the heck? <laughs> Poor Pep, he's like, dude. Pep, Pep, Pep is like, what? <laughs> you don't realize the circus doesn't ever come to car drive. We had to drive 150 miles, miles away. Also, this looks like the Pikachu meme, but it's <laughs> a little bit. Why not? Because everything's a jumbled mess. You don't remember this part? I remember this part. But I don't know what kind when of When we pulled in here, nothing got put in the right place. All my five <laughs> main acts are crying mutiny, and the <laughs> other acts are having problems too. Here are the five main acts. Honkle the Clown, the Flying Porkowskis, Philippe the Flea, Reginald the Lion, and Katie Cannonball. This circus is doomed. Maybe I can help you. By the way, <laughs> I'm no stranger to solving other people's problems for them. <laughs> <laughs> here. Take this. Maybe I have to it fill out all this paperwork. <laughs> Is he a bull? No, not Don't a Don't worry boss. about a thing, Mr. BJ Is he like I'll do my best to make boss. sure everything is a okay. <laughs> you know, if you have to like get this circus chart. up and running, you'll have but free circus really. tickets oh, no. for life. He's, That's great, since uh, he's a just trying to the eat front my of a semi without the actual semi part at the back. He's how like, the, he, how do you get that gig? He doesn't have to drive a semi around all day. No, because he opened the circus. Man, some semi trucks. Do circus. Their thing, and some semi trucks. You think are like, running a circus, circus is all about wild yep. animals and the thrill of life on the road? Well, I'm here to tell you, boy. That unless I'm out on stage, it's all about paperwork. Piles of paperwork. And it's times like this that I miss the days of performing on the high wire. Wow! You used to balance way up on the high wire. <laughs> Fun drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good screenshot. Uh, fun drinking game. Uh, take a drink every time you hear Papa say, Well, wow. how? At the, in the exact wow. same way. Yes, it was the high point of my life. <laughs> the circus is in my blood. My daddy was in it and my granddaddy before him. When I was little, my first job was sweeping up the flea tent. I was the only one small enough to handle the job. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think they're taking Actually, the exact don't. same clip. It is, it is the exact going, same wow. clip. They got real lazy with <laughs> But it's gonna be funny. The circus is my life. Did you know that long before I was ringmaster of my own circus, I was the best clown you ever saw? I thought you performed on the high wire. I did, in my clown costume. Every time I cracked up the crowd, they nearly brought down the house. Oh, okay, I then. Wanted to, oh, wow! DJ well, how? Big Top Circus. That's where the circus is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less talky, more driving. Less talky, more driving. Oh! Oh! Wow. Best part I'm of the game. inside the Big Top. I okay. should take a look around. <laughs> Guys, it is. this is literally the best part of the game right the here. The entire game. Gotcha, peanuts! Gotcha, fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Mmm, that sounds good. What would that car look like in real life? He's, he he's a peanut car. How much are you selling yeah, your peanuts like, look for? At his chin. Usually these peanuts <laughs> sell for uh, peanuts, less than a nickel. But today, because it's open at night, I'm giving them away. Even though I'm the only one if here right you now. you take on the peanut challenge and win. <laughs> the, the peanut, peanut challenge. challenge? What's that? Yeah, take a closer look at my peanut gallery and I'll explain. Peanut gallery. Okay. Oh, Here's oh I just realized works. that one. You got ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those hungry tin cars. If you can feed three cars, you will win your own jumbo bag of fresh, hot, roasted peanuts. On your mark. You only need to do set. this is three. like the easiest game ever. You only need to do ever. three out of ten. Although it might be a little difficult for me because my trackpad is broken, but oh look, you won the oh I won challenge. the peanut challenge. <laughs> it's literally the easiest feat ever. Occasionally there are orange cars that are really thin. This, that can is, be for, difficult. this is for the three-year-old who yeah, can't figure one. out how to use a computer. Basically, <laughs> that, one, was, that one had too many peanuts. I felt that one had too good. He's back for seconds. Time I you did it. You won the peanut challenge. <laughs> I can't believe you actually won the peanut challenge. It's supposed to be impossible. In reality, but like every win. car. Although I would probably fail at the peanut challenge in real life. The peanut I actually had to throw it. Hold a peanut challenge. One bag for customers. <laughs> I can hit the fat car. You, if you got three fat cars like this one, then you'd be fine. <laughs> I only got two. You got three. I wow! I got thanks a lot. Hey, what are you gonna do now that you won them? Gobble them up and set this flat? No, I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll save them for later. They're That's hot roasted peanuts. Decision. You might find hot someone pot. you want to share them with. <laughs> Oh boy, we won the peanut challenge. <laughs> there we go. That, that's peanut I challenge, Toby. Let's eat them. Let's eat them. I don't think that will work. <laughs> no, remember the last time I ate something in the middle of a game? I almost <laughs> crashed it. We're not doing that again. <laughs> Pep, you want some peanuts? Nope. No. It's a uh, janitor <laughs> flea. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Has the circus started already? No, I'm early. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney to get his axe ready for the show. Hey, right, I could use some help. Big yeah. time. I'm Lester. Pleased to meet you. He looks like I'm Lester. Putt -putt. What's the problem? My boss, Philippe. Philippe the Flea. He has fled with his fellow flea followers to where I do not know. He's a tad upset about the condition of his small umbrella tent here. As you can see, it's a mess. <laughs> He should clean it up. Maybe I can find him for I've you. Never listened to well, the then you're going to need this. And see if you can find him a new tent while you're at it. Thanks, Lester. Cool, we get the magnifying glass. That must be the lion and tiger ring. It's gonna be pretty exciting to see them perform. I can't wait. <laughs> you didn't say, well, how? That must be the ring where the clown performs. <laughs> A huge target. I wonder what that big target's used for. I I wonder, Papa. I just I don't know what the circus is for. Giant. Click on that again. That's yep. exactly how lights work, kids. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. What? 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 There's a number. Circus comes to your town. We start setting up the tent, cleaning up and getting ready for the show. The big show. As the audience rolls in, we see all the children grin. Jump through giant hoops. That's a lie. There are a pair of alligators. 
<laughs> That's a lie. There are so many lies. <laughs> Why is the alligators on skis not the main other towns where cars are waiting for the fun will be creating but we're coming back to do it all again next year under the big big top we are big big fun under the big spotlight there's miles for everyone if you get to join the circus you'll never want the show to stop underneath the big 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 top underneath the big 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 top <laughs> I did not know there was a musical I did number not know in that this. That that Zero out of ten. Too much smiling. It's <laughs> no, too I'm... long. But it, it's, I don't think it's really any longer than say Go Pop Pop. But that one's better. Go Pop Pop is better. That's probably the weakest of out of Go Pop Pop, the Time Continuum song, and Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the zoo. zoo. This was probably the weakest. But it's not bad. But it, it was still good. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to see it. I'm glad I got to see it. We knew where the car gets shot out of the cannon. <laughs> that's, that's a little Except mean. you won the challenge Well, you know how occasionally you, like, click on... There's, I feel like the other three songs in the Puppa games, it's very, like, obvious what you click on. This one wasn't really obvious. You clicked on, like, a random speaker here. And it was yeah. just like... Oh, which way? Oh, we go this way. Well, let's go. 